for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this beautiful Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups. Doesn't get, well, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. Eight, let's see, two cups. It's the card above the word pass. It's referring to a romantic partnership. But that's not his only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. And this card, it says that things were likely going really well for you. You probably felt more than usually loved cared for and content. Now, because it's with the Ace of Pentacles, you could, could have found that you were enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And this would have been very positive new beginnings. So you were likely to be feeling really op optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future. And things would have been going really well. You could have been starting something new. This could have been in the area or the realm of work. Or it could have been personally. But either way, it would have been a really, really good thing. Now, if you were in a committed relationship, it would have, it would have gone to the next level. Or maybe you reconnected with someone. So, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. Like I said, Two of Cups clarified by this Ace of Pentacles. Now, what I'm getting is that, uh, yeah, you were in a, a relationship where you're still, you're still with this person for some of you. Um, it felt like a harmony, a union, a deep connection. Uh, it felt like you were with the ideal partner. That's what, that sums up the Two of Cups. The ideal partner, a true love. It felt like it was a balanced partnership. Um, possibly... They felt like it was a committed relationship, or it was. It was all the, t all the things in a relationship that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So it made you feel like you were in a phase where um, this was a new beginning. And you probably had new beginnings in a lot of other areas of your life because of the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, it was a good time. You felt, probably felt more than usually loved by a person in the relationship. But that's the recent past energy. Why don't we move on over? Let's take a look and see what we got coming up. Well, we got the Eight of Pentacles. And it's with a Nine of Wands. So the Eight of Pentacles, it does point to necessary efforts, meaning that you might start to feel like you got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Just know that dedication is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance, because no one can or should work all the time. Now, this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period, but this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Now, it's with the Nine of Wands. Well, first things first when you get this card, the best step is to often take a deep breath, calm down, try not to let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because it's showing up in this picture, just by the way this person is looking. I don't know if you can see the, the details of this card. 
at least some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So try to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening. Yeah, so like I said, I don't know if you can see the details of the Nine of Wands, but it's a card below the word present. This man, he's kind of like caged in. Maybe he did it himself. He caged himself in with all of these wands. I don't know if there's a fire behind him, but it looks like it is. So it looks like he's ready to battle someone, but there's really no one to battle. No one's coming towards him. There's no one around except for fire behind him. Yeah, so some of the worries, they're probably just imaginary. So, you might have to ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of whatever it is that you're worried about actually happening? So, basically, Gemini, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Wands. So, this person that you, you were dealing with, or you're still with, that we talked about, that you had the recent past energy. This person, it looks like they have, they're starting to have some anxiety. Maybe some worry about the relationship, the connection. Just remember, the roles can be reversed. You could be them and they could actually be you. Yeah, so, I don't know if there's some constant nagging or constant dissection. Somebody's picking the other person apart. Yeah, it's showing that with this nine of wands, it could be time for some breathing space. Yeah, nine of wands, when it talks about love and relationships, you might want to give your person some breathing space because someone is um, has some some worries, and it's probably imaginary. Yeah, yeah, it's saying give your person some breathing space. It might be a time, maybe for you to get yourself whole emotionally, or that's something that they need to do. Somebody's having some anxiety. And like I said, it's probably going to turn out to be just all in their head. So it looks like your person, I'm going to say it's your person. They've got some worry, anxiety about the connection. So either they're going to start to bury themselves with work. Or you're going to start to do this, Gemini. Yeah, you're going to bury yourself in a lot of work. Maybe you're going to try to master a craft, or maybe you're going to do some other things that you, you enjoy and have passion about while your person goes through whatever it is they're going through. Some type of, some type of drama in their head. Yeah, but... Uh, Yeah, it may start to feel like with you you backing off and just putting all your effort and energy into work, it's probably going to make this person feel like you don't have time and space for the relationship. So that could be another storyline. Maybe you're working really hard. And now your person is tr is starting to make up a bunch of imaginary things in their head because you're so busy now. Maybe you're trying to master some type of new project. And now your person is um, starting to come up with other s scenarios that might be happening. Maybe they think you're cheating on the side because you're so busy now. That's the other storyline. 
But anyway, there's a lot of things going on in you, in your head or your person's head. And it's probably imaginary. There's anxiety now. And someone's working a lot. And it feels like who's ever working a lot, it feels like they may not be giving energy to the connection. Even though it may not be true, but it's causing anxiety. Or the anxiety is leading you or your person to put all your effort and energy into work. So that's what we got coming up. Now let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got the world card and it's paired with the magician. The world card is actually about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. But make sure you just don't quit because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there could be a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's going to be important, if this is the case, to toot your own horn just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now, it's with the Magician, which is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It does remind us that we have the power to make a difference in our life and in so many other areas. If we simply try. Just know you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just make sure, make sure you, you do something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Okay, so the challenge, like I said, the world card, and it's clarified by the magician. So yeah, there are some things that are going on with you and your person. I don't know if, you, if you're starting to feel, or your person is starting to feel like you just don't have time for them anymore. So it looks like you might start to manifest a new beginning. Yeah, and then the world card is here, so... You could be thinking about closing out this chapter with this person. You might be realizing that it's time to end this journey. Yeah, because they're kind of like filled with anxiety. And, and the two of you are just not making time for each other anymore. They could be burying themselves in work and then maybe you are too. So you might be starting to think that it's time to manifest a new beginning somewhere else and complete this chapter with this person. You thinking it's time to close, close the chapter or complete the cycle in the journey. So you're manifesting new beginnings and if it's not with someone new, maybe it's just a a new day, a new life. Yeah, now the magician is interesting when it, when it's about love and relationships. It's an indicator that someone out there somewhere is looking for you. Just as you're looking for them. Now whether you find them or not, it's going to depend on you. Yes, yeah, so you got to use that wand and be strategic and plan. It's about manifestation powers, this magician. So a lot, you might start to feel a lot of great things can happen for you if you just end this cycle with this person, complete the chapter. That's how you're starting to feel. You probably got an inclination that there's so much more out there. 
Yeah, but you, you, you realize that if you don't close the cycle or chapter with this person, yeah, you might miss out. Because like I said, the magician is all about action. Yeah, so that's that's how you might start to feel. But anyway, that's the challenge. Now, let's see what we got coming up for the outcome. Well, we got the Two of Swords and with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you might want to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. If you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. Now, this does require a lot of communication. But just know nothing will change without effort. Now, we got this Knight of Swords that it's clarified with. Knight of Swords, it brings a really upbeat and cheerful energy. As you can see in the picture. It means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The physical and the emotional and spiritual energy is at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. It, po it does point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished, not wanting to wait for anything to come come to you and that's a good thing you're going after your heart's desire so the outcome gemini two of swords clarified by the knight of swords okay so it looks like your person they're planning to take action towards you they're rushing in really fast this person will cut out whatever it is. If they buried themselves in work, if that was them, well, they're not doing it anymore. They're coming in to sweep you off your feet. They're coming in to get you back. If they felt like you were drifting apart, if the two of you were drifting apart, well, here they come. Yeah, they'll be telling you everything you want to hear. But it looks like you might, I don't know if you, if you're, you could be thinking about closing the chapter or you're wanting to do this and you're manifesting new beginnings. So with this two of swords here, it's telling me that you might choose to avoid and block them. Yeah. Yeah, for a lot of you, you want a new beginning. So, yeah, the Two of Swords, you, you looks like most of you are going to avoid and block this person. But they're rushing in. They, they want to get things right again. So, they might try to rush in and sweep you right off your feet. But, yeah, it looks like you just, you got those two swords in your hand and... It's an indicator that you will choose to avoid and block them. So, Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below. Of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Jim and I, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Yeah, we'll all get through it. It's going to pass. Just stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. 
Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Like I said, keep in mind, these are not personal readings. They're general readings. So you, you have to take the reading for however it fits your situation. Some of you ask, can this be a friend or a family member? Yes, it can. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I just want to say it again. I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Please come back and join me for the next reading. So, I hope to see you then. I hope all is well. And take care.